Hello, in this video we'll go over how to manage your statuses inside of Happy Fox. Now statuses are very important. They're used to indicate the stage at which the ticket is present right now in your ticket life cycle. Happy Fox allows you to customize your statuses regardless of what plan type that you are on. In order to go about this, I'm going to walk through the menu section and I'm going to go to the second column and scroll down to statuses. Now, only agents who have the role or permission uh, that allows them to manage statuses can actually do what you're about to see right now. When you first go to this page, you're likely to see new, in progress, on hold, and closed. Those are the default statuses that come with Happy Fox. But you can, of course, add your own, change them, move them around, and we're going to go over how to do all of that right now. It's very easy to create a new status. It's simply hitting the plus sign right next to the status label and then naming the status, whatever you want it to be. You can then choose any color that you like across the full spectrum. And then you get to choose what kind of a behavior it has. This factors in later on when it comes to automation because tickets are either listing as pending, which means there's some other work that needs to be done on it, or completed, which means that there's no more work that needs to be done on it. You can then offer a brief description about what the status means in case your help desk technicians are wondering whether or not that applies to this particular ticket at this particular time. You hit add status and then it becomes part of your list. Now inside this list you can easily drag and drop things around. You're also able to go in and edit statuses that you've already put into the system. If you edit a status, you're going to be able to see the exact same things that were brought up when you created the status itself. You also have the ability to delete a status. And if you try to delete a status, it's automatically going to recognize that there might be other tickets associated with this particular status and would you like to move them to an existing one rather than losing them. And it gives you the ability to manage that and you can make a choice and then move on within the system. So. You're also able to set a default status. Uh, usually that is the new status so that all new all tickets coming in are given a status of new. And then you can move them through the workflow that you and your team are already using. Speaking of how the team is doing that, let's go back to the ticket section and see exactly what your teammates would see. When they get a new ticket and it comes in, we're going to open that right now they'll be able to go in and actually pick out a status that best replicates where they are in the process. If this one's been escalated, then it goes to that particular one that they select. And then that is all a status change is also mentioned directly in the audit trail for each particular ticket. It is also possible to use your statuses in the smart rule section of Happy Fox. If you create a smart rule that, that involves setting a particular status. For instance, you can automate the changing of statuses, such as if something needs to be escalated, if a particular condition happens. You're able to go and pick items out of the system that match particular conditions, and then you can use that to actually change the status from new to something else that's appropriate for your workflow. Once that happens, then the ticket will come back and automatically be changed in the system. And this will give a full uh, indication as to where that ticket stands at this particular point in time. Thank you very much.